Inflammation is completely normal and essential to the healing process. But what happens if you have increased inflammation over a long period of time? This could mean an even bigger problem. How do you decrease inflammation? By the end of this video, you will know what inflammation is and how to seek treatment to get better. Hi, my name is Chris Brandt, and I've been a physical therapist with EW Motion Therapy since 2015. Today, I wanna to review with you what inflammation is, what causes inflammation, and how inflammation can affect you over time. Inflammation is the body's immune response to any sort of irritant. That irritant could be a bacteria or a germ or an infection maybe even a splinter, or just healing after you've rolled your ankle. This is your body deploying white blood cells to whatever area is being affected, and that beginning of that chemical reaction is what causes inflammation. There are two main types of inflammation. Acute inflammation is the immediate process that begins right when any irritant occurs. There are four cardinal signs of an acute inflammatory response. There's heat, pain and tenderness, swelling, and redness. And those all typically occur right around the area where that irritant happened. There's also a process in which inflammation continues to occur over a long amount of time. This is the chronic type of inflammation. With chronic inflammation, you may experience fever, joint pain, fatigue, or any number of other symptoms. It also very much depends on where the chronic inflammation is taking place and if you have any genetic predispositions. For example, psoriasis is a very big inflammatory condition that affects the skin. Same inflammatory condition can be in the stomach and it come out as a Crohn's disease or some sort of IBS. There are a few different things that can also cause chronic inflammation. The first is autoimmune disorders. Any autoimmune disorder can help compromise our immune system, which really hurts our ability to control the amount of inflammation in our body. The second is exposure to toxins or a buildup of toxins in our system, which can also impact our immune system and its ability to control inflammation. The third is just not allowing that acute inflammation healing phase to happen and you get this kind of chronic problem where if you just roll your ankle and don't let it heal it then becomes a, a larger issue where you can't control the inflammation in your body the fourth is food food we eat every day especially processed foods and sugar foods can really impact how our body processes inflammation and allows allows us to heal there are also several lifestyle factors to take into consideration when it comes to chronic inflammation. Obesity, smoking, stress, and sleeping or lack of sleep can all lead to chronic inflammatory conditions. How can inflammation affect your body? Well, let's talk about it. During acute inflammation in those first stages of healing, you may experience all four of those signs that we talked about before, but swelling is gonna really decrease your body's ability to use your joints effectively. You may even have trouble putting weight on an arm or a leg because of the inflammation that's going on, typically in joints. When the inflammation becomes more chronic, you can have several different issues arise from inflammation being left unchecked. You can have an increase in arthritis in several different joints in your body, depending on where it's being affected. You can also have issues in your lungs like asthma and COPD. You may also have, in extreme cases, issues in your brain, such as depression or even leading to Alzheimer's, which are both conditions that can come from chronic inflammation over a long period of time. No matter what kind of inflammation is taking over in your body, whether you're on the acute side or you're on the chronic side, you can be sure that you will have increased fatigue as your body is trying to work overtime to fight that irritant. Now you know more about what inflammation is 
and how it can affect your body. Suppose you're trying to reduce the amount of inflammation in your body. The first thing I would start off with is looking at your diet and things that you can change in order to decrease that inflammation. The second thing would be looking at your sleeping habits. Are you getting enough sleep at night? Click the link in our description below to visit our learning center. We offer an array of articles that can guide you toward living a healthier lifestyle to help you on your journey towards healing. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to help you on your physical therapy and wellness journey.